Today I will be showing you guys how to secure your VNC connection on Kali Linux with SSH. Um, that is one of the big problems with VNC is its lack of security for remote access. And the best way to fix this uh, lack of security is to uh, tunnel the client to the server connection through SSH. Now before I begin I should point out that you should already have um, SSH enabled and configured on your Kali Linux machine and if you haven't already done that uh, feel free to check out one of my previous videos uh, that goes into detail on how you can go about uh, setting all that up and then aside from just enabling SSH uh, you will need to install VNC viewer as well and I have a video you can check out to help you get that configured as well so if you already have SSH enabled and configured, uh, as well as VNC Viewer installed and configured, uh, we can move on. So the first thing that you will need to do is open up PuTTY, which you should have already downloaded. You will need to first put in your IP address. Now if you don't know how to obtain your IP address, um, you can check out one of my previous videos and I go into detail and explain how you can go about finding your IP address. I will leave a link in the description um, so you can check that video out if you need to. So after you get your IP address put in there, um, you will need to enter your port number. Um, now as default, um, SSH um, is port 22 but I changed the port for hardened security uh, so you put your port number in there and then after you put your port number and your IP address you want to navigate down to SSH and then tunnels and I configured VNC viewer to run off from port 5900 so that'd be the source port that you would put in there and then the destination would be the IP address uh, followed by a colon and then the port number again 5900 now keep in mind that this is actually a local IP address um, so if you plan on accessing uh, Kali Linux remotely from another location outside of your home network that IP address will be different and after you have both those sections uh, filled out, uh, you can click the Add button. And then click the Open button. And then you should get a screen like this. And then you can log in as root. And we are officially logged in remotely to our Kali Linux machine. And now we will open up VNC viewer and then for the VNC server you want to type in your IP address once again uh, with a colon followed by the port number which is 5900 for me and then you just click the connect button now it will give you this prompt that says that the uh, connection is unencrypted but VNC viewer doesn't actually know that we are tunneling the VNC traffic through PuTTY. So it doesn't recognize that uh, this actually is an encrypted connection. So you can go ahead and just ignore this and click continue. If you like you can click the box, don't warn me again about that and it won't pop up. And then you should successfully have a secure connection using uh, SSH, VNC Viewer, and PuTTY. And that concludes this video.